come along to Crookle House to the Department of uh, Health and uh, their press release about primary care framework from 2012 to 2017. This is ongoing, of course, and the press release, uh, zippy little title, Launch of Primary Care Framework Cements Future of Ireland's Community-Based Care. Well, wow. David, take it away. What exactly are you proposing here? Um, well, under the Strategy for Health, which was issued, I think, last year, um, primary care was part of that strategy, and we develop a, in three years, develop a framework for where primary care is going in the next five years. Um, we set up a um, group to look at that, and we've produced this framework, which we're launching today. I mean, let's go right back. I mean, primary mm. care, exactly, put that into layman's terms, what's that difference from just going to hospital, for instance? In layman's terms, primary care is anything that happens outside of a hospital. Um, secondary care is what happens inside the hospital. So essentially you've got GPs, dentists, pharmacists, opticians, health visitors, community nurses, speech and language, podiatry, and so on. And you're trying to move people away from just going to hospital to, to have this as their first port of call more. Is that a saving money option, Ozzy? No, no, it's not a saving money option. Um, what we're looking at is releasing time to care, essentially, in that what's appropriate to go to the hospital should go to the hospital, and what is appropriate to be treated outside the hospital is treated outside of the hospital. So will that cost more or less to have these sort of things set up in the GP centres, for instance? Um, um, if it was set up in a GP centre or anywhere else, um, it's more cost neutral. In some cases, there's evidence it costs slightly more. Um, but it's more, a, it's more a case of releasing that care for the hospital so the hospital provides more appropriate treatment. Um, and why is this coming about now then? Why are you doing this now? Uh, it's, it's um, well, I think we've always been doing it, um, but it's more focused now because the strategy for health um, provided that focus and now we've, we're underpinning that with what is the framework for primary care and taking it forward. Will people see things changing overnight or is this a slow sort of movement over? No, it's going to be, well, as you can see, the framework's a five-year framework, so it's, it's going to, and it could even take longer than that, it's going to be a slow process. We'll be setting up an implementation group which will involve lay members and GPs, etc. And slowly over time we'll make, make the changes and there'll be consultation along the way, so it's not going to be a, a surprise to anyone you know, if they turn up to the hospital and they're sent away type thing. It's not going to be like that at all. It seems to me that you're going to put more pressure on the GPs. They can't be happy with this, can they? And no, well, it's not just the GPs, it's across the whole of primary care, but if there are changes, it will be f with full consultation with the practice, with the GPs or health visitors or whoever's involved. And, and uh, in some ways, they initiate it themselves uh, because they want to do more for their, for their patients, obviously. And you're saying that this will, could be neutral or slightly more expensive. Is this the right thing to be doing in these times? We'd like to think it'll be neutral. Um, there is some evidence in the UK it could cost more, but there again, in releasing the hospital to do other things, that there is, it's sort of a cost saving in a way, but not in that you know we're switching things into into the community. Um, so, so an example would be what the, the the pharmacist would give some advice on a rash and, and things like that, even that that sort of level of change. Well, yes, you know, pharmacists are highly trained professionals, um, and they they are qualified to provide that advice. It's using professionals more appropriately and extending their their remit. And this will mean less people going to Nobles Hospital. Eventually, yes, um, they will. There will be more people. Who, dealt with in the community and looked after nearer to home where whereas most people would like to be. And it won't be just one day people go to the hospital, next minute they go into a GP? It, it wouldn't be that sort of switch over? No, no, no. It, it'll be a gradual. And whoever um, goes to hospital will be appropriately go, going to hospital. And if it's more appropriate, they're dealt with I in a pharmacy or in a GP practice. That's where they'll be, that's where they'll be treated. And you're the man behind this. I mean, this is your actual sort of document is it um, me in a group I led I led the group um, I chaired it and there was professionals on there as well so it's a group effort um, but it's sort of my name on it